<clears throat> I saw a video recently where um, I think it was a TED talk and it was about quadcopters and how they could be controlled by computers and so I thought I might give it a try myself um, albeit a super budget version <clears throat> so I found this little quadcopter for about $40 these are pretty common uh, it's a four channel remote control so it's it's quite fun to fly and to let the computer see where it is I put these little infrared LEDs on it and they come from a, a Wii the remote control Wiimote sensor bar on top of the TV for your Wii and down there on the floor you can see I have a Wii set up and when I hold the quadcopter over here um, the Wiimote can see where the little LEDs are on the light on the copter this is not the best way to do it but it's the cheapest I think um, it's not the best because it adds another <clears throat> seven or eight grams to the copter which is already uh, overloaded so the idea is it's going to try and hover here um, and in the top right of the screen there you can see oops uh, these controls I'm doing it manually at the moment but when I hit another button the computer will try and take over like this and it's a bit wobbly but you can see it does work a little bit Oops. so that's my first attempt um, could be a lot better but it's not bad considering um, I've only been at it for about a week just over a week and I had to learn a bit about Arduino because Arduino is how everything is being done all the communication between excuse me we're backwards communication between the computer and the remote control radio control rather let's try again start here Oops. Um, <clears throat> so yeah it's a bit rough um, and you can see on the left there I have the gains for pitch roll your and throttle and stuff um, it's not it doesn't work very well but it does work a little bit so the idea is is uh, I think the idea itself is kind of okay but the biggest problem is that it's not really a 3d positioning sensor it's on it's only 2d so the computer doesn't really have a proper picture of where the quadcopter is in space it only has a 2d picture which is not enough really uh, and the other thing that I'm not accounting for is that the pitch and roll affects the throttle a little bit and vice versa so when you throttle when you leaned a little bit it affects the pitch and roll a little bit um, so I don't think the system is ever really going to be very stable um, but if I just swing the camera around a little bit here we'll see how it works uh, so you can see on there that's that's the screen and the way everything works is the computer sends serial uh, four bytes to the Arduino and the Arduino controls a digital potentiometer there so that has four um, outputs and those outputs are going into this which is the original radio control unit that came with the quadcopter and you can see I've removed the joysticks so originally originally it had joysticks on here and you would control it by turning these joysticks by hand so that's what the digital potentiometer there is doing um, so all up I think the system probably cost about uh, let's see 40 plus 30 plus 20 about 90 under a hundred dollars I think so 
um, for that price I don't think it's too bad anyway we'll see if uh, this can be improved on in the future by the way just in case you thought the computer wasn't doing a very good job before um, bear in mind that it's going through this crazy Arduino Digipot interface um, and so it doesn't really have such great control over it it's only um, as good as it can control through there and I've set it up so that I can manually override things so you can see in the top right what my control sticks are doing there and just as a comparison this is what a re relatively experienced human can do using this interface um, just for comparison so you can see the throttle is pretty hard to control so the computer was doing a good job of that uh, but the pitch and roll I'm doing a much better job of that I think so could be um, could be improved quite a bit by setting the gains I'm not really sure but just as a comparison um, you can see that compared to the best that this human at least can do it wasn't too bad and I haven't really spent much time adjusting the gains mainly because the batteries only last a few minutes so <clears throat> it's really annoying to keep changing them and charging them all the time just to do a bit of, bit of uh, gains adjusting so I haven't really done much of it oh and I should mention that I'm not carrying the extra 7 grams of the the Wii sensor bar thing either here so I have a little bit more agility and better response time anyway just to just to compare there we go